Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Welcome to Mitchie Games, and this is my Friday update. So, yay. Um, <clears throat> not a lot going on this week. Um, just been kind of a... It, I, I've been overly exhausted. It's You can hear my voice, and you just kind of see it in my face. I'm just like... <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, some big updates as far as... Um, game stuff is concerned, I have a shit ton of new amiibos. Um, I got six. And the reason what happened was um, a guy came into the local video game store and traded a bunch of his stuff in. A bunch of it was amiibos. A bunch of it was amiibos I don't have and the amiibos I wanted. And I have since basically bought most of that guy's collection of stuff that he traded in. Um, the only thing I haven't bought from his collection was a Luigi controller for the Wii U, and that's just because I didn't want a Luigi controller for the Wii U, um, besides the system's gonna die in the next two months anyways, because once all the good games come out, there's nothing for the rest of the year if you look at the schedule for the Wii U, but some of the things I got, Gandorf, beautiful, beautiful Majestic Gandorf. He is actually really well detailed. I he is probably one of the better detailed amiibos out there, and I kind of get a little appreciation for him. Bowser, of course. Um, when I get Super Smash for the Wii U, I will <laughs> play that like religiously with Bowser because he's such a good guy. Princess Peach. Now, note this is the Smash Peach, the gold play at the bottom. This is a regular Peach from the Mario series. And Samus. Zero Suit Samus. So there you go. Um, those are all the kind of the regular ones that were... They're not worth a whole ton. But they're worth something. Here's the ones I got that were worth a little bit more. Fox. This is like... $15 Amiibo. Still. Even out of the box. Which is kind of nice. And I, I something to kind of notice. If you ever look at the Amiibos. This one's got blue. This one's got kind of an opaque white. And if you look underneath Princess Peach. That's clear. So they don't, they're not consistent with the mold. Which is kind of weird. And then Dark Pit. Um, another rare one. And i assuming they're, they're making another series coming out soon. Hope to get probably Bayonetta. Bayonetta's... That's one of the games I need to play. I need to do some research to make sure it's okay to play Bayonetta. Um, but if I can, I might do that as a Wii U thing with Amiibo. Just because. Um, I haven't decided if I want to sign up for the Nintendo program or not. Just because... It, there's no point. I mean, I, I feel like I am being ridiculous here with um, having to sign up for their program so I can play their games. I don't know. It, it just the whole fair use thing, and they're the ones kind of jacking it around. I don't necessarily care for it. But we'll see. Um, I'm going to do some comments and read some comments for you guys. Because um, I don't get to read comments ever. Because I don't really have enough. And they're kind of fun. But I'll do that in a second here. Uh, update game wise. Um, as well. I got rid of The Division. Never started it. Played first beginning missions I it, it's one of those games where it was kind of a nice change of pace as far as storyline but I still got I hate Tom Clancy games it's nothing against the storylines of those games I hate the buttons how they're laid out I hate how they do it it's it's it, it, everyone's kind of figured out that there's a certain way to do things and Tom Clancy refuses to push towards that. 
<clears throat> and uh, the game the game mechanics have always been weird for me for uh, Tom Clancy games. And I just I couldn't get into it. I just could not get into it. And one of the things that made Destiny so well um, was it was easy to get into. They made they made it easy to get into, so it wasn't like craziness. So let's do in some comments here. I won't take up too much of you guys' time today here. Kind of read them off quick and let you guys know that I'm you know reading your comments. Um, Merchik Gaming M I R C K Gaming says, "Is that Nathan Fillin?" Either way, good video, Mitch. Keep up the hard work. <laughs> um, they refer to me, um, the actor from Firefly and Castle. I, I don't know why. I don't look anything like the dude, but okay. I'll go with that. <laughs> um, uh, Grace O Plays. Uh, I played this game a little bit and then freaked, and then a freaking arrow was gone by my, from my life. I'm so addicted I almost didn't want to play it. Or don't want to play it. Uh, this is Slither.io. It's basically the new Agar.io. And it's just a great game. It's fun. I'm going to play some more of it soon. Um, I might do another episode again of that. And I will catch up this weekend doing video games. So that's going to be a thing. Uh, from The Verdict. These graphics are just wow. Ha ha. Open mouth face. Um... So, um, just the graphics of the Pokken game, that was kind of fun. Um, it, it's nice to notice how well the graphics of the game are, considering that it's on pretty shitty hardware. Um, the Wii U is not a good system, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, from Auditiously Awkward... Great episode, Mitchell. There are all sorts of different types of commentary. I like your laid back and information style. Keep up the good work. This is also from another Pokemon episode. And I just kind of talked more about the Pokemon and kind of how I feel about them and my, share my knowledge of Pokemon for general. It's kind of one of my more specialties. And I hope sooner rather than later I can start doing some Pokemon games as well. Um, but yeah. Um, another one from Graysill Plays. Wh what the hell? It's so strange. Loving, love the slowly glowing techno beat, though. But seriously, how much acid was dropped into making of this game? This is from referring to my, uh, episode, There's Poop in My Soup. Where, um, basically the game was, you, you poop in people's soup with a poop face. Yeah. Um, <laughs> eight, um, eight bitty titty committee. Wow, that is say that three times fast. Said, um, what a bunch of shit again. To the there's poop in my soup episode. Oh, there's so many jokes. Um, God, there's so many fun things. Um, from Chris AK thirteen. Awesome job, man. I think your content is pretty good. I'm enjoying it a lot. I hope you keep it up the maze work because I just subbed and I can't wait for more great content from you. Take it. Uh, so this was another Pokemon episode. That was the first one. Um, so there's that. Uh, Papa Ken Media. This was about a month ago now. I'm kind of reading that far back. Good luck in the rest of your Let's Undertale Let's Play. I finished my normal pacifist run a few weeks ago in heck of a journey. One thing I'd recommend is to trim out any portions of the video where you're searching for your phone for the MTT Brandy Bish Cream. So that was referring to it. I didn't know what the hell B or MTT Brand Bishy Cream was. And I just I was I was looking at mid episode, I didn't cut out to it, and I'm just like, I, I gotta figure out what the fuck this is. I'm just kinda rolling through. And I was just oh my god, that was hilarious. Um I still am doing the Undertale series. Um, hopefully, tomorrow I'll get to that a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, so. Now that's really about it for this episode here. I kind of ran a little over, but 
hopefully I don't have to take up too much of you guys' time here. But as always, I thank you all very much. Keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and, well, let's play. Yay!